Welcome to Unit 10. This week you will be exploring generic leadership concepts that connect with your responsibilities as a worship leader. Once again, we look to God's Word as our primary source. But in this case, we are broadening our scope of applicable passages to those that might connect with leadership in general. In some instances, a passage might be related to worship and leadership. For example, a curious development occurs under the leadership of Nehemiah as he is leading the Jewish people back to their homeland to rebuild the wall. In the midst of providing for basic needs and defense, Nehemiah appears to prioritize the role of the Levitical singers as demonstrated in Nehemiah 7 beginning in verse 1. Now when the wall had been built and I had set up the doors and the gatekeepers, the singers, and the Levites had been appointed, I gave my brother Hanani and Hananiah, the governor of the castle, charge over Jerusalem. For he was a more faithful and God-fearing man than many. And I said to them, Let not the gates of Jerusalem be opened until the sun is hot. And while they are still standing guard, let them shut and bar the doors. Appoint guards from among the inhabitants of Jerusalem some at their guard posts, and some in front of their own homes. The city was wide and large, but the people within it were few, and no houses had been built. This is an extraordinary development because it demonstrates that Nehemiah prioritized worship even at an early point of rebuilding. May we prioritize worship as Nehemiah did, even in a house church setting in the U.S. or internationally. Don't wait to prioritize worship. You can begin leading worship with just a few. In fact, if your family doesn't regularly participate in worship, that is a great starting point. One of the videos provided in this unit will explore a range of leadership resources. I hope you find this resource helpful, not just in regard to worship leadership, but in regard to your overall leadership IQ. Your discussion question for this week challenges you to share an area of leadership development you would like to explore. We will also delve into con cultural considerations this week. I hope you've noticed that we actually began our conversation regarding cultural considerations week one by exploring the incarnation of worship. We continued to explore cultural considerations at various points in the history review as you were encouraged to make connection points between certain historic developments and modern worship scenarios. Perhaps you've made your own 21st century connections all along the way as we have explored biblical, theological, and historical foundations. This week, a range of resources will be highlighted that represent cultural considerations in worship.